Hello, today's notebook comes from a question asked from, uh, from the, uh, on the mailing list, uh, so thank you for that. And uh, well, I usually forget to, to mention it, uh, those notebooks are available in the Quantly Python cookbook, uh, which uh, is, well, the, the link is in the description uh, of this video, so check it out. So I'm just uh, setting up quickly the notebook, uh, this uh, today's date is, uh, well, no, it's now three years in the past, which shows uh, that this notebook is not that recent. But anyway, the point was, uh, uh, let's say we build an interpolated forward rate curve, that is uh, uh, a curve uh, which interpolates between instantaneous forward rates. I'm just uh, making, uh, making them up entirely here and taking today and then I'm adding a number of years and then I'm adding uh, uh, I'm interpolating between these four rates which I'm also making up and uh, I would say for for convenience I'll just take this two this is just ever only used at today's date because it's in a backward flat interpolation which means uh, between two of these nodes, so for instance between two and five years, I'm going to take the rate corresponding to five years and extend it backwards in a, in a flat way. It's probably easier to show than to explain. So these are the nodes of the curve, this is the today's date and then the nodes that I have added and these are the corresponding rates. If I ask the forward rate on a date between two of the nodes, well, for instance, here is four years, which is between these three years and this five years node, I'm going to get the rate corresponding to the, to the five years node. And here it is 3.5% as expected. And uh, well, we can even plot the whole curve by doing the same thing on uh, over the, 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 the whole domain. And here is what we get. So forward at a node, extended back. You might note that uh, the way we retrieve the instantaneous forward rate, uh, since we don't have an, uh, a high level interface for that, in the, uh, a public interface for that in the curve, is to use the forward rate method and pass the same date as the initial and the final date. So it's a, a degenerate case of the discrete forward between uh, two dates. Okay, so this seems okay, except uh, if we try to ask for the nodes at uh, the dates corresponding to the nodes, uh, to at the, the rates, sorry. So we take the nodes of the curve, we take the dates, which are these ones, we kind of expect to retrieve these rates, except this is not what happens. The retrieved rates are different from the expected ones, and uh, well, if we plot them on top of the curve, we see that, well, they are kind of halfway between the two rates, the two, the, the, two, the, the, the previous and, uh, and uh, next uh, level of, of uh, the forward rates. What's wrong? Well, I'll go, uh, I won't go in, into the, 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 the formulas in depth. The point is, uh, due to the implementation of the, the base test structure class, uh, we are not, mm, re when we retrieve the forwards from the curve, we're not going to retrieve directly the forward which we are, we are interpolating on, uh, inside this particular derived class, derived tense structure class. Instead, the whole implementation of the public interface, so discounts, zero rates, forwards, is based on uh, the, uh, the discount factors. So, what's happening in this case is that the underlying instantaneous forwards that we are modeling by interpolation in this case are used to retrieve uh, discount factors and those discount factors are used to retrieve well can be returned directly 
but can also be used to are also used to return zero rates by well a simple exponentiation and uh, or, or logarithm and uh, by returning discrete forwards. The problem here is that uh, mm, the discrete forwards are retrieved by by integrating between uh, the discount factors between two, two, two points and uh, we don't have of course an exact formula for that because that uh, depends uh, on the particular mm, on the particular uh, function used on the particular shape of the, the the forwards so instantaneous forwards in particular well discrete forwards are in, retrieved by numerical integration and uh, instantaneous forwards are retrieved by uh, by kind of taking a small integ an uh, integration a small average in a way around the date that we are passing with the forwards so well this can be seen in uh, can result in, 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 in this is the, the, the formula that we're using for discounts the, the, the numerical one is uh, here and uh, can be explained what happens can be explained in uh, two ways one might be that uh, well if you see the forward rates as the derivatives of the zero rates we get uh, here we have a change slope where the, and the, the underlying forwards change so if we take the numerical derivative in exactly these points we're going to take the slope between these two points, which is neither this one nor this one, but just an average of the two. In other way, you could see this is that we are taking a small an average of the of the forwards in a small integral interval around the, the point around the node. So it's not uh, the value that we get uh, inside when we are fully inside one level but instead we get again some kind of average between the two which well explains why we're getting values in the middle here is the curve implementation wrong then well uh, in a way well yes there is this glitch if you ask for those forwards you don't get uh, the exact value then again it's hard to, to argue for uh, it's hard to even define an exact value of the forward in this uh, in this point. Well, by definition, we are saying that the value here is the the, the, the value of this node that we are taking back. But uh, the discount factors and the zero factors retrieved from from this underlying interpolation would be the same if this single point were at the upper level or at any point in the middle or or well anywhere really. So, is the curve wrong? This particular re result is uh, kind of undefined, so it's not what we expected. Could be justified, well, kind of justified by saying that no result is fully justified. What makes me less worried about this thing is uh, this is uh, in, in any pricing engine, in any instrument that you could use uh, this curve for, we are not going to ask instantaneous forwards at any times. We are just going to ask for discount factors and uh, possibly zero rates. Those are retrieved correctly because that's the, the it's an inter it's an integration over the whole interval from from zero to any node, and that's calculated correctly, independent on how this this particular forward is defined at that point. So. Okay, there is this glitch. If you look at the curve closely, no problem for for uh, using it for for pricing. And uh, with this, I think I've seen this notebook is already longer than I expected. And uh, well, thank again, thanks again for for listening, and I'll see you next time. Bye.